We'll never hear Tyler play live violin again. We don't want any parent to have to suffer the kind of pain and devastation that we have gone through for the last 15 months. It's a never-ending process, and it kind of ebbs and flows almost like an ocean. It comes and goes, and it's very overwhelming at times. I don't understand how somebody could be so cruel or so mean. You're in a new community, you're trying to make friends, and for whatever reason, someone feels that they need to be better than someone else. It was unbelievable to read it. I mean, for a long time, I, I, I didn't believe it. I didn't think that he had done that. I, uh, uh, I, I thought maybe he was kidnapped or he had run away, you know, all of those things. And when they found his body, then I was forced to accept the fact. I have gone over it many, many times in my head, and I really cannot come up with a, I guess, because there is no good reason for what Tyler did. It was something he did do, and it's something that cannot be changed. Do you have faith that you will receive the type of justice that you're looking for? Well, I've said from the beginning that what we want is justice, we want accountability. And I have faith in the court system in the state of New Jersey. If we don't see it here and now, we will ultimately see that justice. I would characterize it as I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken at what happened and, I'm, and about the loss of my son and how it happened. It breaks my heart.